Alex, happy retirement, not quite yet. A couple of weeks away from it. How does it feel, first and foremost? Um, yeah, it's it's been a bit of a strange week. Obviously, uh, you sort of think back to all your moments and stuff at the club, but um, it was something I was kind of ready for. Um, I'd had a good think about it at the start of the year, and then when you get to that contract renewal point, I wasn't really looking to try and extend it any or, or, or look anywhere so I think that kind of was a bit of a sign I was ready uh, just ready for a new challenge there's a new group of guys coming through at the club and uh, you know all good things come to get come to an end and I uh, accepted that and that's that's where we're at so when you look back and kind of reflect on it which I'm sure you will do after you know you finish that final game yeah would you ever have thought when you were at Barney, when you were at concert, that you would have 16 years at Newcastle Fulton? No, I, I mean, um, that is, it's quite surreal when you think about it. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know how to sort of put it into words, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a surreal experience to be playing at something you love for 16, 17 years at the highest level and still being one piece. and. Um, but yeah, been been blessed. But it's not it's not just that. I've worked hard, and um, plenty of people around me have made sacrifices to help me be where I am today as well. So, is it as much as it's kind of shaped your life rather than just your, your career as a job? Yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> I identify as a rugby player. To be honest, isn't it? Everyone sees me as a rugby player. So, but it's been like probably nearly half my life playing playing rugby yeah. professionally, which is just crazy. Um, it's kind of like a jail term, I'm going to have to, like a prisoner, I'm going to have to sort of get myself out of it into the real world, so, uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that, I'm looking forward to the challenge and taking the next step in my uh, in my life. Yeah, we'll come on to what's, what's next, next. What's been the kind of standout moments when you were thinking about retiring, what did you kind of look back on and go, that's one of those nights, that's one of those days that really stands out? There's, there's loads of moments, there's been loads of ups and downs, but I suppose we're talking with, with, with ups is uh, uh, really, really early in my career it was the JP Morgan Sevens we won, which was just, we weren't given a shot whatsoever and we won that. Um, real a long, long time ago when we went on like an eight match unbeaten run at the end of the season, uh, the Toulon Montpellier couple of weeks was really special. And then we got to LV Cup final, I think it was, and we didn't perform how we we wanted to. Didn't have a great game down against Gloucester, but uh, to get into that final, a chance of silverware um, was you know a really special moment. And then just not even that long ago, a couple of weeks back, uh, having my my boy on the, on the pitch and running around, loving it was a, was a real special moment for me as well. The fans have been putting out on social media kind of how they remember. You. How would you want? the fans to remember Alex Tate and the Newcastle Fulton shirt? Um, hopefully that every time I went on the pitch I gave my all. I mean I, I haven't got the X factor of like a Matteo Carreras or a, an Adam Radwan but um, I, I always try and give my, my all, my 100% and uh, try and be consistent as I can. Uh, so ho hopefully that uh, would be sort of my, my legacy of, you know, Giving everything to the shirt when I was uh, when I had it on. And just finally moving forward into the future. Obviously, you're talking about what's next. Obviously, moving into a different career now. But how much is this place still going to be a part of your life? This club, this stadium. How is Newcastle Fulton still going to feature in your life? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm probably going to be pretty busy with uh, this this next part of my life yeah. and. Uh, you know, when I can get back and, and, and watch a game or two and support the lads, obviously there's quite a few lads that are going to be here that I'll, I'll know and obviously care a lot about the club. It's been a huge part of my life. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll get down wh when I can, work permitting. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's going to be a bit of a strange one, but I'll, I'll obviously look out for the club's results when, when the... The sports news comes out, it'll be the first one I look for, so 